Hi, this is Bill from the Upside of Downsizing. Today we're making bottle bricks. So what we're going to do is use a tile wet saw and I have a 7 inch diamond blade that's made for glass tile installed and we're going to take a beer bottle and cut the top off. So let me start the generator and show you how it's done. Okay, so now that we've got the tops cut off the bottle, what we're going to do is place two of the bottles together and just use duct tape, tape it up, and we've got a bottle brick. This is seven inches. This is going to be the same length as the mesquite bricks we made yesterday, so then our cob wall will remain the same thickness. Okay, so now that we've got our two bottles cut, we're going to use duct tape tape them together. There you got it, a bottle brick. So it's the next day and what you're looking at is the aftermath of our cutting session yesterday. Got a lot of bottle tops left over. Some interesting rings, glass rings. There might be a use for this stuff, we'll just have to figure it out. I think the most important thing will be figuring out how to polish the edges so that they won't be uh, dangerous. They're not bad. I mean, I can rub my finger on it, but I just you don't want anybody to get hurt. So maybe just putting it on some, maybe just some fine emery cloth or something like that will smooth it out. I've seen guys put people put this into a base and then use it as a as a, a vase uh, for flowers and stuff like that. So we'll figure something out. But more importantly, we're here to make bottle bricks. So this is the one that I made in the video clip yesterday, and they're just basically beer bottles put together, and we have. A lot of bottle halves that we'll just be attaching together using duct tape today. And what's interesting is some of them won't be the exact same size. If you look at this one carefully, for example, you'll see that they're actually two different sizes, but they're close enough that we can tape it together, and then once it's installed, you won't see the difference. Don't tell anybody. And we had one green bottle and we really wanted to use it so we looked for a way to do it and I think what we're going to do is end up finding we're going to end up using a clear one on one side they're almost a perfect match a clear one on one side and a green one on the other it just makes for a nice look the green glass looks nice wish we had more green bottles So I'm going to get started taping these together. Just using black duct tape. Considered using white duct tape, thinking that maybe the uh, inside of it would reflect more light, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. It's going to be put into cob anyway. So again, it's just taking two pieces of glass. Great, check that out, I just broke one.
nice. Don't tell Yvonne. Let's see if I can be a little more careful this time. So, another brick in the wall. We have some that are cut like this. And the reason we did that is we're going to put this vertical into the cob. And then cob will be on top. So it'll just be a, instead of seeing the, uh, the round part at the bottom, you'll be seeing it from the side. Give it just a different shape. It'll also allow a little more light in. So I'm down to my last two, and I just want to show you something real quick. Even though these bottles do not have a perfect cut on them, and actually this one has a part that just kind of broke away, it really won't matter. I'm just going to take that the two imperfections, put them on top of each other, cover it with duct tape, and from the ends, no one will ever know. And once it's in the cob, again, the secret's safe with me. So here's that bottle brick, again with the imperfection, taped over. I put it next to its brothers over here. Can't tell the difference. So it's a rather forgiving situation, and uh, as long as you're able to secure the pieces together, you'll be in good shape. So here are the bottle bricks I was able to make this morning. And as you can see, the top row, these are all beer bottles all rather uniform. The ones on the bottom are for the most part uniform. They're made out of wine bottles. Sometimes you can see here that this one has two different colored glass on it. One's a little greener, one's a little more brown. It doesn't really matter because that's how we're going to be seeing it from either side. So, and actually what's kind of nice is when you look at the end, some of the bottles have interesting textures on the bottom. This one, for example, is this green and clear one I was showing you in the previous clip. And again, you'll either see it from this side or it'll be viewed from this side. Either way, it'll be interesting. This is the ugliest beer <laughs> bottle brick that I made. And it's two different size pieces of clear glass kind of taped together. They're holding. And once they're secured in the cob, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Again, you're going to see it either from this side or from that side. And I don't think that ugly imperfection in the center, well, I know it won't be visible. So use what you got. Finding the bottles is probably the most difficult, uh, the, the difficult part of the job. Cutting them, I used a wet, this is the wet saw that I was using in the clip that uh, you saw yesterday, from yesterday. And I used a seven inch diamond blade made for cutting glass tile. And I think that's really important uh, because it uh, allowed for a very clean, smooth cut of all the... Actually, I didn't have any breaks at all. The only time a bottle broke is when I was careless and dropped it. So, otherwise, all of the edges that you see here that were cut, I mean, they're, they're relatively smooth. I mean, I'm not afraid to run my finger along it. You know, all of this, there you can see a little jagged edge. I could have ground that off, but a piece of emery cloth will smooth this out. And uh, these might end up being used somehow in a decorative fashion as well. Don't know. But anyway, so we've got a bunch of pieces left over. But with a $109 wet saw from a big box store and a an upgraded diamond blade for cutting glass tile, you too can make bottle bricks. I'm about to get started making another batch of bottle bricks. And before I do, I just want to remind you that tomorrow, Saturday, the 13th of April, starting at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's West Coast time, we will be doing a live broadcast on YouTube together with the Green Dream Project, 
and the midlife prices. That's at 6 p.m. on Saturday, and we hope you'll join us. Tune in to the link I'll provide below. It's going to go through the Green Dream Projects uh, YouTube channel, and I will leave a link for it below, and get your questions ready. We hope to see you there.